hi, this video will be looking at the usefulness of electrical appliances. Electrical appliances use electrical energy and transfer it into useful energy forms and unuseful energy forms as a byproduct. The amount of energy that is used by an appliance depends on the appliance's power and the amount of time that the appliance is switched on for. So the formula for working out how much energy used is power times time. Energy is measured in joules, and one joule is the amount of energy transferred by a one watt appliance in one second. Power is measured in watts, or kilowatts. A kilowatt is 1000 watts. Households tend to use a great deal of energy, so we tend to think of power in terms of kilowatts and time in terms of hours. So the standard unit of electrical energy is kilowatt hours. So energy will be kilowatt hours, power will be kilowatts, and time will be hours. Alternatively, this formula could also work for joules for energy, power being measured in watts and time being measured in seconds. We can work out the cost of using an appliance by using the following formula. The cost equals the number of units times the price per unit. So let's suppose that we have an 800 watt washing machine that is on for 45 minutes. And also the cost of one kilowatt hour is 20p. To answer this question, we first need to find out how much energy this washing machine is using. And we do this by using the first formula, which is energy equals power times time. The question gives us the cost of one kilowatt hour. So it makes sense to convert the power into kilowatts rather than watts and to convert the time into hours rather than minutes. So to convert the watts into kilowatts, we divide by a thousand. So we do 800 divided by a thousand, which gives us 0 0.8. So our washing machine has a power of 0 0.8 kilowatts. To work out how long the washing machine is on in hours, we do 45 minutes divided by 60 minutes, which gives us 0 0.75. So the washing machine is on for 0 0.75 hours. Therefore, we do 0 0.8 kilowatts times by 0 0.75 hours, which gives us 0 0.6 kilowatt hours. To work out how much this costs us, we multiply the amount of energy used, which is 0 0.6 kilowatts, by the price of a kilowatt, which is 20p. So we do 0 0.6 kilowatt hours times 20p, which gives us 12p. So the cost of having this washing machine on for 45 minutes is 12p. So now let's move on to mains electric. Houses have electric meters that measure how much electricity has been used by the household. Electricity companies subtract the old meter reading from the new meter reading to work out how much energy has been used by the household. Let's have an example. Suppose that my previous meter reading, which was taken three months ago, for my house was 452345.2 watt kilowatt hours, and my new meter reading is 452562.35 kilowatt hours, and my energy company are charging me 20 pence per kilowatt. The first question that we have is how much energy have I used? To work this out, we take the old reading away from the new reading. By doing this, it gives us a value of 217.14 kilowatt hours. We can now answer the next question, which is question two. And this asks, how much will this cost me? To work this out, we do the amount of units used times by the unit price. So we do 217.4 times by 20p. This works out to be £43.43. And 43 pence. The final question asks, how much would my yearly bill be? In order to answer this question, we're going to assume that my consumption for our whole year will continue at the same rate as it has done through those three months. 
This means that I would use 868.56 kilowatt hours of electric. We've worked this out because in three months, which is a quarter of a year, I use 217.14 kilowatt hours. Because three months is a quarter of a year, we have to times this figure by four. And this gives us a value of 868.56 kilowatt hours of electric. We can work out the cost of this electric in two ways. One way would be to times the 868.56 units of electric by the price per unit of electric, which is 20 pence. Another way would be to times how much it cost me for one quarter, which was 43.43 pounds by four. Whatever way you use to work out the yearly bill, you get a value of 173 pounds and 71 pence. The final part of this video looks at when electricity is not available. When electricity is not available, we can use batteries or elastic potential energy to power devices. Let's take the example of a wind up radio. A user winds up the radio and then the elastic potential energy slowly releases and this powers the radio. A lot of developing nations do not have access to reliable electricity and this has a great effect on the standard of living in these areas. For example, if there is no reliable electricity, hospitals may not be able to use equipment that requires electricity, such as x-rays, MRI scanners, and they may not be able to operate due to poor lighting. Also, we use electricity to keep our food fresh and safe, and if there is unreliable electricity, there is a greater chance of the food going off and becoming inedible. Furthermore, a lack of electricity can affect communications. For more videos, content, quizzes and past papers, go on to www.elevise.co.uk.